This, how's it going there, everyone? This is Justin from Snazzy Labs, and this is the video review of Envelope, a Reddit client for Mac OS X. So we'll open Envelope here, and if you're not sure what Reddit is, what is over here? <laughs> if you're not sure what Reddit is, Reddit is a social news website, basically where people post links to different things they like on the internet, um, such as news or pictures or videos or anything of the sort. Um, also, they have things uh, called subreddits, which are you know little communities of people that make their own you know little reddits based on things that they like, you know like tech like Android or you know they can do stuff like motorcycles or their favorite TV show like it doesn't really matter and so it's like it's this really massively popular online website where you know the the real premise is you upvote uh, things that you like and you downvote things you don't like so you know what happens is the things that are popular go up to the top and the things that aren't so popular go down to the bottom and you know you don't see them as much so Anyway, that's your little Reddit lesson, and uh, let's get started on the actual application. So here's our envelope here. You can get it for $3.99 in the Mac App Store. So uh, let's full screen it here. And um, as you can see, it's just it's very simple. Uh, we've got this big area here for content, and over on the left, we have a scrollable list of all of our links. So let's go to uh, the first one. This is a uh, link or a picture from the Pix subreddit, as you can see right there. It says when it was posted, how many points it has, which is basically the, you know the uh, upvotes minus the downvotes, and uh, you can see where it's from. So it's from Imager.com, uh, you know, via Pix subreddit. So anyway, right here is the picture, and uh, and it's really simple. And this is just one view. This is the content view, um, and you can do a few things. You can uh, pinch to zoom. And this doesn't work all the time uh, for zooming in because sometimes pictures are at their maximum resolution. But you can zoom out in a lot of circumstances, so that's really nice, nice and smooth. Um, and the next view we have is our comment view, and so you see just comments. And this is a very nice, uh, nice comment system here. You can see when it was posted and who it was posted by. You can add your own comment right there. So, kind of pulls down this uh, this cutout view, which is nice. You can also uh, see other people's comments. You can upvote and downvote them. So I just upvoted that person's comment because they were inquisitive, and uh, you can see who you know who it was obviously when they posted, and you can also reply to their po or their comment if you'd like. So cool, dude. Anyway, um, we'll go ahead and cancel that. So uh, the next view, uh, actually the next two views are split views. So this one is the vertical split, which I spend a lot of time in. Over here you can see, obviously, there's the content, and on the right you can see the, the uh, comments. Uh, I also forgot to uh, mention that in the comments you have these threads. So on the left here we have orange, and then uh, purple, and then blue, and you can see how the threads progress. So this, you know, this one follows the purple one down here, and the next comment on that is down there. So it makes it a lot easier because a lot of times... Um, uh, Reddit's comment system is a little confusing. So next, we'll actually change subreddits here. And oh, sorry, there's a uh, horizontal split too. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing though. So we'll uh, switch subreddits here, and you can do that very easily by going down here to the front page button. Uh, we were on the front page of Reddit before, where all the popular stuff goes. But we can change to something else. So let's go to the uh, Android subreddit. And so as you can see here, it's all Android-related stuff. So you know, we'll go to Happy Birthday to the T-Mobile G1, which Happy Birthday to the G1. It's awesome. Android's been around for what three three years now, um, which is awesome. So anyway, you can see this content here, and it opens up in its own little browser. So it doesn't open it up in Chrome or whatever. And it's very nice. Um, so that's that. Uh, you know, we can go to any subreddit we want that we are you have. Are subscribed to on Reddit. The only unfortunate thing is that from here you can't get to uh, a subreddit if you're choosing if you're not subscribed to it. So let's say I want to go to um, I want to go to the Apple subreddit and I'm not subscribed to it. There's no way f from here that I can search for the Apple subreddit and go to it. And in order to do that, I would actually have to go up in uh, the the menu here, which is kind of uh, annoying. And uh, there are a couple other things that are like that as well, which I'll get into. Um, right here, you have a refresh button, so you can just refresh it in case something has popped up. Um, and you can also uh, go from hot to new things, and also into controversial things. So right here, it refreshes, and it's going to go into all the new things that have been posted to the Android subreddit. It takes a second or two to refresh. Actually, it's taking a little longer than I thought it would, but... Nonetheless, <laughs> so that's basically all there is to this. Uh, there are a few other things I didn't mention, like um, directly upvoting and downloading. It also has a fully featured flash in the browser, which is nice. So you can upvote and downvote the actual posts. I forgot to mention that, so we'll upvote that one, get that guy a little bit of publicity. Uh, you can also save them to your favorites, which is nice. And you can also hide them. 
from the list, which I'm not going to do because why would I do that? Um, so anyway, that's all that there is to the basic, uh, the core of the application for what you see. And then we're going to get into a little bit of what you can't see and what you can still do because it's a pretty powerful application. So we'll go here into our preferences. And we'll go through a few of these preferences. So articles. All right. The first thing, obviously, Reddit's about is uh, all the links or the articles, and so that you can uh, you can uh, you can change the font. So uh, I change it to Helvetica, or you can go back to Lucid Grand. Um, you can also change the text size, and this all happens in real time, so you can see what's going on there. Uh, you can also uh, change the selection appearance from subtle to blue, which I mean. It just changes basically that color from what you have selected. Uh, and then you can also change um, what you have uh, on different corners of the content. But I'm going to leave that right as it is. So we'll go over into comments, and you can change the font of those as well. You can change the text size of those as well, and that will show you that in real time as well. So it's quite nice. Uh, we'll go over here to web. And this is talking about you know the the built-in web browser. Uh, default font, you can change that. And, as, of course, you can also change the fixed with font. Um, in addition to that, you can enable or disable JavaScript, Java, uh, automatically load images, automatically log into Reddit pages, and integrate with images, imager, and YouTube videos, which is nice. Next, we'll go into keyboard, and uh, you can just do different keyboard shortcuts for different features of the application, such as different subreddits. You can you know enable some keyboard shortcuts for next subreddit, previous subreddit, um, also articles, you can do a bunch of stuff with those too, services, uh, you know, view stuff and window stuff, so you have a lot of options uh, as to what you're going to do with keyboard shortcuts. Next is toolbar, and uh, you can have different things up on your toolbar, such as, um, well, right now we have upvote, downvote, save, hide, and full screen, but you can add things such as email, post to Twitter, and readability, which is nice. And I'll show you those things in a second as well. You also have gestures, so you can use three-finger gestures to switch between articles, subreddits, uh, web navigation, and to change your type. Over here is uh, minus integration, but I... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then over here is account, and so basically just shows you you know what your account name is. You can log out, log back in, and uh, change the way your messages are read. So uh, we'll go up here into subreddits, and you can go to next and previous subreddit. Uh, select your subreddit or go to a subreddit. And this is what I was talking about before. You can't do that from uh, down below here. You know, type in a subreddit you want to go to, but you can from here. So uh, if I want to do you know um, Mac. Now I can go to the Mac subreddit, but it's really inconvenient that that's not down, you know, here. I understand that they're going for simplicity, but I mean, if it's hidden in a, uh, in a menu down right here anyway, then why not just put like a little search box? Anyway, um, then we'll go over here into articles, and you can submit your own article. So we'll submit a link, and uh, it's very simple. So I'll just say cool review, and obviously, if I had the review to post, I would, uh, you know, link it to the YouTube video, and it's done. It just says what. Uh, subreddit it's in and then you can post. Um, in addition, well, in addition you can also submit a text post. So this is a text post and then you can just say whatever you want. Hi. So cancel that. Yes, discard. And um, then we can do next article, previous article, and then upvote, downvote and stuff, but we're not in an article to do that anyway. And those are right up in the menu bar there. So next we can go to services, which is this is what I was talking about before. So um, let's go to this one. Uh, Jonathan Ive talks about Mac design and, need a and a unibody MacBook ma manufacturer. <clears throat> uh, speaking is hard. So we'll go into uh, edit here, or sorry, services, and I can email the article, tweet. Uh, so actually, let's just tweet it. And uh, right there, it already puts the link there and all of that. So all I have to do is just press tweet, and it's been tweeted out to my followers, which is pretty nice. Uh, and, you know, the same thing happens with email. Yeah, so I can you know do whatever I want right there. Uh, next up is edit, and you can just you know it's basic edit menu, undo, copy, cut, paste. You know, don't really need to go through that format. You know, you can just change uh, the text to bold or italic. Um, and then here's some tab features. So we can open up a new tab, and we can have different things in different tabs. So uh, over here I have the Mac subreddit, but over here let's say I want to open up. Let me refresh this. But let's say I want to open up a different subreddit like uh, Windows. You know, just <laughs> Um, you know, just uh, kind of for a little variety. I don't even know if there's a Windows subreddit, to be honest. It's looking like there's not. 
because it's taking a little while, but it doesn't matter. You can have different subreddits open in different tabs, and you can easily switch between tabs with keyboard shortcuts. Oh, actually, you can't. You, there is a Windows one. Anyway, so uh, next up, uh, you can go to, you know, you can, it just tells you some keyboard shortcuts for next and previous tabs, but we already have seen that. You can also zoom in and zoom out directly from there and change the different views directly from there. Also, those are things that are already done within the application itself. Uh, and then window. This is pretty much the last I'm going to talk about here. One of the uh, big things about uh, Reddit, especially the way this app is concerned, is messages. It's called envelope because um, whenever you get a new message in Reddit, uh, there's a little envelope by your name up on the top right of the website that turns into this kind of orange-red color. And a lot of people joke and say whenever they get a message, they get an orange-red. Um, and so it's called envelope, and it's uh, the you know the icon is an envelope. But for some reason, the messaging integration isn't as good as it could be. So uh, in order to get to your messages, you actually have to go up to here to Window and then to Messages or uh, hit the keyboard shortcut. But it's really odd that that's not built into the application. So here you can see the messages, and it's in a different window, and it's just it's inconvenient. If there was a button down here for Window, or sorry, for uh, Messages, then you could pop that up just like you can over here, and it would show your messages there. I don't understand it, but, you know, that's something that they probably should do. So we'll open up messages here, and you can click on your message, and it'll take you right back into wherever it came from. Um, so that's that. You can also post replies and do all that kind of stuff from there. So anyway, this has been my review of Envelope for Mac OS X. Uh, it's a very powerful, uh, very, very nice-looking application. There are some shortcomings, like I said. There's a couple different integration things, like you know, searching for different subreddits and some things that kind of should be built right into the UI of the application that aren't. So uh, because of that, I'm going to give this uh, application a four out of five. But I definitely think it is worth the price tag if you're a big redditor. Uh, if not, you know, if you just visit the website every once in a while, uh, then you, you might not need it. But you know, for the average redditor, I think it's a really good application. So anyway, uh, again, four out of five, and until next time, stay snazzy.